Hey guys, it's CB Gray coming to you guys live at Nerd Destiny video. How are you guys doing today? So today's video, we're going to be bringing you a jumping puzzle guide for the Hawkmoon Harbinger quest. I just want to make a quick, concise guide on exactly the path that you're going to be taking. So hopefully this does end up being helpful. If it does, hit the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have your beautiful faces. It is insane how close this channel is getting to 100,000 subscribers. And for that, I just want to say thank you. Let's get right into the video now. Love you guys so, so much. Hey guys, we're going to be running through this on my Titan. You can use your warlock or your hunter too i recommend for some of these jumps if you need to throw on lion rampants as a titan if you need to throw on stompies as a hunter or whatever you need to do to make your jumps easier i recommend doing that and if you still need a little bit of extra oomph uh try boosting up your mobility so when you spawn into the mission you're gonna head in through this room right here didn't mean to pop that shield but you know we're gonna go ahead and go this way over here We're just going to make our way down. So I'll kind of just come in for commentary when there's parts that need explaining. You hit this right right here. You got to go through this door right here. Or reload. You're heading under and to the right. You're gonna have a hobgoblin meet you outside. Go ahead and take him out. Ouch. Gonna run across, and the first thing you can do is you can go jump right on his perch that he was on. Next area you're gonna want to jump to is this branch right here. Yes, this branch. This is something you can make on your hunter if you have stompies. This is something you can make on your titan. Um, even with that line rampants. And then as a warlock, you know, just float. So I'm gonna make this jump right now. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna land right here. You can go to the all the way to the edge. And the next jump you're gonna be making is to this area right over here. And so this is a lot easier with a sword because even if you don't make it to right here, you can actually sword your way back up and make it to this ledge. So I'm gonna show you just the jump real quick. Wait until a little bit further, you can sword to get a little bit of distance. You can land right here just like so. And like I said, you can sort your way back if you need to. And that'll get you to where you need to go to start off. So now you're here. So now you're just gonna do a little bit of running real quick and you're gonna run and 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 run, and run until you see that right over there. That is gonna be your ticket. So you can actually, this looks like it's really steep, but you can actually run right up it, which is kind of surprising. So you can run right up right here jump up and do the exact same thing jump up and then your door is actually right here this is the first part right here from here then you're gonna run jump up top and hit the right now as you can see there's gonna be three emissaries to kill you already know that so that we're gonna be killing three taken really really strong people that are going to be immuning as you do damage to them so we're going to kill this first wave of ads that you see right over here and then once we get them all to despawn i'll show you where's the first place we're going to go here in just a second so once you have all the ads clear you're going to go through the door that you originally came through i'm just using this for reference and then hit the left where the ads originally spawned that you now killed you're going to jump up on top of here and you're going to go and then you're going to fall and then when you jump back up, you're going to jump right here to where this blade is. And you're going to shoot it. And from there, you're going to go kill that first emissary that originally went immune on you. And so once we kill that, we will uh, sink back up here in a second. Once the emissary is dead, you're going to make your way back to where you originally came. Then there's going to be a second wave of ads to kill in the opposite direction. So I'll go ahead and show where that is real quick. So we're going to go kill the ads over here. And then after that, I'll show you where you need to go next. So kill the ads, do in front of you. And then we will sink back up here in a second. 
So once you kill that second wave of adds that spawned, I'm going to show you exactly where to go. I'm going to use the same position of the original door that we came in through just to use that as a reference in case anybody gets lost as you're going through the fight and get kind of turned around. So from the door, instead of going left like we did last time, we're going to go right. And then right after we kill those wave of adds that were over in this area right here, you're just going to jump right across. Yeah, go through this door to go kill your second emissary. There we go. I'm going to do this next part. So after you kill the uh, second emissary, go back in the direction that you came. Go back down. And then we are going to be going further out to the left to kill our last wave. Once we kill this final wave, I'll show you the next area to go. So once you kill the final one, you're going to do a little bit of backtracking for the last door. Once again, I'm going to use a point of reference from the door just in case anybody gets lost. Um, so that you can always use the door as a point of reference for your next location to go. So you're just going to run straight. This one's actually right in the direction from whence we already came. Jump right up onto this platform. Jump onto this circular platform. And you're going to go through this door right here to go kill your final emissary. And jump up. And then here's your final emissary. So we're gonna kill that real quick. So from your final emissary, once you kill that, you're gonna go here. You're gonna be dropping down. You drop down here, you're going to hit the left, and you're going to end up back in the room from where we originally started, and you are going to be making your way back to another door. I mean, it's been a million doors at this point, so you guys are getting the theme. And you're going to shoot through this door to progress. From here, you are going to need to kill um, uh, quite a few enemies. There's going to be a lot of snipers that spawn up here. There's going to be a few unstoppables that you're going to have to kill as well. And um, just some other shielded, very strong enemies. I recommend having one person stay in this crevice right over here. You can actually kill all the snipers and relatively stay alive without getting killed from anything, as long as you're able to keep snipers down. So on all the runs I've done prior to this, I've always uh, either stood here or had somebody else stand here to make it a little bit easier. So we're going to kill all of the things, and then we're going to come back after we uh, kill everything. But yeah, a couple of good weapons that have been really good um, in particular uh, that I've been using. I've been playing around with Heart Light uh, just to take out uh, the shields that you've kind of been witnessing in this uh, segment. Before, when I was doing my first few runs, though, what I really did enjoy using, Xenophage works great for a lot of the long-range enemies especially the ones that have solar shields. Anarchy works great for a lot of the arc enemies if you have um, that weapon that does a great deal of damage. Snipers in general work really, really well just for the long range enemies, especially the snipers, as I've mentioned before. Um, I was really enjoying the Wither Horde too, if anybody has the Wither Horde, as that's another amazing kind of weapon just to shoot at people's feet and to kind of just uh, let it do its thing. There's a ton of weapons you can use. LMGs are working great too. Um, and really just kind of play around and find something that works. Some people have really been enjoying Truth Teller as well for a void uh, launcher that's uh, not a heavy weapon. So once you beat the mission, you're going to head in this direction so you can head up. However you need to jump up, it's fine. Um, you can also, if you need an easier way to get up top, depending on what your loadout is, you can use this beam over here. And then from here, you can walk up if need be. Then you can jump across and jump to whichever one of these platforms is easiest to jump on. Then you can jump up. You can also go from that right side as well that you see from over there. You're going to shoot through here. 
and we're going to be making our way to the next section. No, unfortunately, you're not done quite yet. And you're going to be going through this portal. If you jump through it too far, you might actually fall to your death, which I did yesterday on stream. So don't jump too far. And you're going to be jumping to that ledge that you see over in this direction to start off first. I recommend long range weapons so you can kill some of the long range enemies that are around. Definitely will uh, do you well. As you can see, you can continue to scale your way up. I use these rocks. You can kind of use whatever you need to scale. Jump across. Okay. Jump across. Jump. You're headed in this direction. And through this area right over here. Where you'll see next is you'll see an area you can jump over there that you see. So that is what you can use as a point of reference if need be. When you get here, the obvious way to go would be this way, but you're actually going to be jumping over here to the left. Made that mistake a ton the other day. You gotta go through here. From here, you'll see these enemies to kill. Once dead, you're going to jump down into that little tube. We are going to keep moving. You're going to jump across there to that pipe. We'll kill that enemy first. And we'll make our way. Just be careful and watch your step. You're going to head over in this direction. From here you're going to jump up, watch the long range enemy again. Okay. From here, you'll once again be able to kind of jump. You can take kind of a leap of faith or you can kind of drop down a little bit and then jump. But you're just going to be jumping. Having a sword is very, very helpful for this. If need be, you can jump on the little ledge over here as well. Um, there's a couple little ledges that can make that jump a little bit easier. Here, once again, enemies to kill. We're gonna keep on moving forward. Once again, kill the enemies. Once dead, we're going to be dropping down. You'll see that ledge right over there in that general area. That is where we're going to be jumping. Watch some of these boops over here. Very important to watch the boops. I recommend if you have a long range weapon, kill some of the long range enemies before you even get to that section. We'll just save you a bunch of trouble. From there, you will jump across. If you get booped, very, very nice to have a sword on. Another reason to have on a sword, just in case for those situations just like that. From here, you're going to be jumping over to your left, and you're going to be met with a few enemies. One's going to be an unstop. 
So be ready on that. Just have on the same weapons you had on before in the other room to make sure that you are able to take down that enemy. As you can see, Vet has Unstoppable on his Hawkmoon. And from here, you are now in the final boss room, and this is going to take you to the end. And so the same kind of weapons I recommended before can work great for this as well. I also was having a ton of success with Gnawing Hunger, as it was able to take out a lot of the Void Shields that are in here from long range. There also are some Knights that you can kind of take out in a similar fashion to how you took them out in the room before. But this will take you to the end. Um, in the next video, I will uh, talk about some additional cheeses and stuff that can make some of your life easy on this part. But hopefully this did end up helping for the jumping puzzle. If it did, hit the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. We love you so, 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 so much. And uh, with that, I'll talk to you guys in the next Destiny video. Thanks. Love